What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you something that I purchased, not only for the sake of reselling, but some of it is going in my personal collection. So as you guys seen in previous videos, I do check out Yard Sales, Facebook Marketplace, and also Kijiji. Now, if you don't know what Kijiji is, it's basically like Canada's Craigslist. That's how I always describe it on my channel because that is what makes the most sense. So I recently found this guy's ad on Facebook and he was having a yard sale and wanted to get rid of a bunch of NHL McFarland figures. I know they go for quite a bit, but he wanted next to nothing for them. So luckily I got a great deal and bought them all, not only for the sake of selling them for profits, but also to keep some in my personal collection because there's something that I have been looking for for myself. Let's head upstairs and I'll show you guys not only what I purchased to resell, but everything that I decided to keep from this lot for my personal collection. Okay, so these are the McFarland figures that I picked up. This box here is the box that I have to resell. And I didn't realize at the time I was going there, just some of the bigger names that were included. I didn't realize some of these players were included. So we have, for example, Eddie Belfour. There is two Martin Brodeur. So Team Canada one, and then there is the regular one here. And all of these are goalie figures, which go for a little bit more, because not only do they include the goalie, they include all of his equipment, his water bottle, and the net. So more collectors are going for the goalies as opposed to the players, depending on what the actual hockey player is. It's usually based on that. So I have some pretty great names. They're all in great condition, all in the packaging, never has been opened. And I do have some Series 1s in here as well. So some pretty great figures. These here, I got a great deal. In total, including the ones I kept, there's a total of 17. Now, I worked out a deal. Originally, he wanted $10 to $15 per figure. I, of course, thought... That was a great deal and there was with that profit to be made, but I do like to negotiate and I talked him down to $7 a figure. So in total for 17 figures, I paid $120. To me, I thought that was a great deal. That's more than I usually buy or spend in one shot for a bunch of items. But when I realized just what they were with some of these bigger names, and the fact that they're all goalies in great condition in the packaging never has been opened. And some of the bigger names, I realized some of these are going to be making a little bit more profit. Some are the average, if it's the lower end figure or a lower end uh, goalie, about averaging about $20 to $30 for those figures. There's some in here, some of the bigger named ones are averaging $50 to $80 I've seen. So what I'm hopefully going to try to do is sell them or sell as many as I can of them at about $50 each. Paying only $7, that is incredible profit. I'm extremely happy with this deal just because I wasn't expecting to get so many interesting ones and for them to be in all great condition. So like I said, I did keep a few for myself. I decided to keep a total of six based on the players. Some of them are players that I have a small PC for or players that I really like. Or I looked at the figure and I thought the figures are in great condition. This one here though, Mike Rocher. I'm actually debating on keeping that for myself because it looks awesome. I like his stance, his pose in the figure. I like everything about it. And the goalie mask looks awesome. So this one here I still have posted to sell. I'm thinking hopefully around the $40 to $50 mark for most of these. But honestly, this one here I'm debating on keeping for myself. Or possibly this one here. Because I am a fan of his. I do have one of his bobbleheads. I don't have too many of his figures. And that to me looks incredible. So again, $7 each. There is definitely profit to be made and I'm really excited to start posting these and selling them and getting not only my money back that I spent, but just seeing how much profit I can actually make with these. Again, there was 17 figures. I kept six for myself. I might keep this one. I'm not sure. But right now what I have to sell, there is 11 in this box. So selling them 
even if I sold them at $20 each just to flip them quick, which I believe I'd be able to sell them really quick if I sold them for $20 each, that right there, I'd be easily doubling my money and being able to flip them really quick. But I'm going to try to get a little bit more out of these. But let's go and I'll show you guys exactly what I decided to keep for my own personal collection that was out of this lot. So these are the ones that I decided to keep for my own personal collection. Now originally, if you guys remember seeing my entire shelving unit here, I only originally started with the top two shelves. Now I have almost the entire thing. I have four complete shelves with all of my collectibles on it. So I decided to expand it down to these two here to put my figures, especially since I decided to keep so many out of this lot. So starting on the top right corner here, we have Jonathan Quick. This is, I believe, Series 32, and that's the year that LA Kings won the Stanley Cup. So the figure actually includes the Stanley Cup. I'm a fan of his. I have a small PC for his cards. So I decided to keep it not only because I really like the figure and really like the player, but I also liked the fact that it included the Stanley Cup. So I decided to keep that one. Next to him, Hendrick, Henrik Ludquist. It is, again, I think Series 32. And I have a small PC of his. I love the goalie. I think he's amazing. So I decided to keep that one for myself as well. Next to that, we have a Patrick Waugh. 2002-2003 bobblehead. Now I have a small PC of his. I love the player. It is the Avalanche jersey. It would have been a little bit more special for me if it was Canadians, but I'm not a fan of the Canadians, so all day I'll take the Avalanche jersey. I just know the other one would have been a little bit more valuable. Now I did decide to keep it, and all these I'm going to be keeping for now in the packaging. And then next to that, I did get this uh, Martin... Brodar bobblehead. I decided to keep that because I do have the Mario Lemieux one here in the corner that I already had in my collection. So I decided to keep the bobblehead for Team Canada as well because it goes with the same sets because at the base it is the gold medal one instead of just Team Canada logo. So that is the top shelf, the four figures I kept. Now down below here you can just see I have Grant Fuhr in the Legends uh, model for McFarland. Now I absolutely love it. Normally this player I'm not really keen on collecting for. I don't have that big of PC, but I love the figure so much. I decided to keep it. I was going to sell it, but I decided to keep it last minute based on not only the figure and how good it looks. The player is pretty phenomenal. Plus I love his goalie mask in this figure. So I decided to keep that. And because I'm running out of room, in behind him and Eric Carlson's Funko Pop is the last figure for the slot I decided to keep, Mika Kiprasov, because I'm a fan of this goalie. Yes, he's retired, and I'm not sure if the figure is going to be going up in price, but I decided to keep it for myself just because I love the goalie. And that's why I decided to keep all of these figures is because I'm a fan of either the goalie or I have a small collection of theirs. So this is just a small taste of my collection. This is basically what I've expanded from just being the top two shelves and expanding it down into my figures here. Now that I have some figures to display and in my collection, because the only bobblehead I had in my collection was the uh, Mario Lemieux one in the corner here. And the only McFarland figure that I have is on the upper shelf, and that is for Connor McDavid. So now I have some that are in the boxes or in the packaging, and it looks awesome. I like the way I have it set up, so I'm really happy with what I kept. Even in my opinion, by me keeping six figures for myself with the ones that I have to sell, even if I end up selling them, like I said, $20 to $30 each just to quickly flip them, I'm still making some pretty good profits where by keeping these for myself, it still gives me some profit with the ones that I'm still going to sell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me showing you guys more things that I've purchased to flip for profits. I think I might try to turn this into a semi-series on my channel, meaning it's not going to be a regular series on my channel like some of my other videos. But whenever I buy stuff to flip for profits, 
I will make that video sharing what I got, what I paid for them, and what I'm expecting to sell for those items. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.